This is Chuck Geekis from Yo Chicago, and I'm here with Bob Hudgens, president of Kristen, and we're in front of his model home in Plainfield, Illinois, that is for sale. Bob, tell us a little about the home. Thanks, Chuck. Uh, this is the home that we built for the Cavalcade in 2008. It's our Kristen model, kind of our flagship, 4,300 square foot model. Uh, we have a full finished basement with a bar, rec room, theater room as well. Uh, on the first floor, as you'll see in our the future of this video, you'll see some of the rooms that we've done with great entertaining spaces, uh, wine storage, bars, uh, everything you could possibly want in a gourmet kitchen. As a matter of fact, come on with me. I'll show you a little bit more about it. Welcome into our home. Uh, when we designed this home, we actually developed a, a lot of architectural appeal to it. You'll see columns here in the foyer, a nice two-story foyer with a beautiful chandelier. And one of the things that we're the most proud about is how we actually curved our staircase upstairs to really add a, a little bit of a balcony look to it and give it a lot of flair, as well as the curvature in our walls, really showing some of the unique types of features that you can put into your home. Uh, so that it obviously comes out as something that's very unique to uh, to anybody that sees it. In here what we did, <clears throat> this is really because in many cases the living room has been going away in a lot of homes, but there's still a, there's still a use for a, another room like this. Uh, some folks use this as a study or a den, a parlor in some cases, a piano room, it can really be a lot of, a lot of things, even a sitting room. And that's really how we've kind of set this one and, and modeled this one. So we have a beautiful fireplace, lots of really great architecture here, really showing you know, how you can really fancy up this front room uh, and really give this entrance as people walk into your home, you know, really give it a flair, you know, something that you can really be proud of. Plus you have a lot of light coming in, which is great. Absolutely. All of our windows on the first floor, we have the transoms up above, bringing tons of, of nice natural sunlight into, into the home. Over here, we're going to walk into our dining room. Now this is a very luxurious and large dining room. Uh, some of the things that we typically are doing is the little niche where we actually bump into the garage space giving extra width to the dining room. Uh, it's really nice for being able, when you have those big family get-togethers, being able to get around without really squeezing through or bumping into each other or bumping into the chairs. We also bumped out the bay window. Now, not, not only does that give the great architectural appeal on the outside that you already saw with that copper roof, but inside we're actually adding several feet to this room that gives us a lot of length to be able to put in actually two or three leaves into this already very large table. Up in the ceiling, we, we've done some, some things to actually give us some height, uh, as well as some trim work uh, with all the, the double crown that we've done in here to really add the appeal and the volume and the feel of a very large room. Uh, you'll also see that we've done a lot of arches. This is one of the first ones you'll see in the house. And as we move into the family room here in a second, you'll see more and more uh, of the arches, the columns that we already mentioned. Uh, here we have a nice little step down uh, into the family room. What we really tried to create with this home, uh, we're kind of very proud of it, is a very large open feeling for entertainment, but at the same time it has a very cozy feeling to it. Uh, the arches, the architecture of the columns, that gives us that little bit of a cozy feeling to where it's not just a completely wide open space, but it is a very large room. Uh, you can see you know, we've done a lot of architecture around the fireplace with all the woodwork and detailings. And we also, as we look out the windows, <coughs> excuse me, we have the uh, we have the four-acre lake, so it sits on something where you have a lot of privacy out there, uh, lots lots that you can certainly enjoy and, and enjoy in the privacy of your own home, entertaining parties, so on and so forth. You also have over here the bar. Uh, this is something you know. A lot of times you see in homes, you'll see a bar kind of in the room, uh, and it's just you know a bunch of cabinetry with one granite slab top. What we've actually done here is we've really tried to make it its own little bar where you really have it, you know, from an architectural standpoint, it, it's not sticking out uh, in the room. So you really have it as a nook that you can really go in there, uh, make the drinks, whatever storage you have, entertain from. You can even put bar stools up to it and it just complements the room really, really well. You also have the arches in the columns. Yes. Throughout the whole home. Uh, we've done some things that are very unique here. Uh, we get tons of compliments on our Shirestone countertops. It's a very unique uh, resin type product. Uh, we actually even hand chiseled the edges. This is all done on site. It's a very labor intensive process, 
but unlike the typical granites that you find in most of your custom homes, this is truly something that sets your home, your kitchen, completely apart uh, as it is a newer product and not, you know, everybody else obviously has granite. You have the latest and greatest with these Shirestone countertops. Uh, as you can see here, we do have the, the two islands. This is kind of a quick center here where you can grab a quick bite to eat and it's set up really, here's your prep and vegetable cutting area, whatever you're doing here when you're entertaining, have guests, what have you. What that's allowed us to do is really move our main family eating space to the sunroom, which especially when you have a view as beautiful as this lake out here, it's really nice to be able to have, whether it's your morning meals or your evening meals, it's nice to be able to gather around the table and obviously look out there very peaceful, very calm. A lot of natural light too, which is beautiful. Uh, we've actually hidden the refrigerator with the cabinet doors. And this, this is a true sub-zero type refrigerator. So it gives you the ability to really have that very large refrigerator in, in your space. But obviously, you, you don't want it sticking out. It, you don't necessarily like the stainless steel look. We want to keep a very warm and inviting type of look and feel to our kitchen. So that's one of the reasons we do this in many of our homes. We also have a very extensive pantry here. Uh, we always like to do the, the little decorations and many of these things that I'm mentioning, again, are standards because they're just the things that we like to put in our luxury homes. So we have the nice etched glass uh, type of glass door <clears throat> for the pantry. As we walk further into the kitchen, uh, all of our cabinetry is Amish custom cabinetry. Uh, it's made in Southern Illinois and all handmade. Uh, it's very unique to our industry and it's something that we're actually very, very proud of. The, the finishes on these, uh, when you come visit us, you'll actually be able to rub something like this and feel how soft this feels, uh, unlike many types of cabinetry that you would, you would see in most homes. This is a true gourmet kitchen. We have our double convection 36 inch ovens, our cooktop that's a, actually an induction cooktop. It is not electric, it is not gas, it uses new magnetic technology to actually cook with. Uh, it's much more efficient and much, much faster to cook with uh, than your traditional means. We have our nice beautiful stone hood and our slate backsplash. And all that surrounds obviously these corbels and a nice little pot filler here. Welcome upstairs to the family's private living area. Uh, up here we have three bedrooms uh, for the children. We have a Jack and Jill. Uh, as well as a private suite uh, or sometimes referred to as the princess suite uh, with its own full bath. The Jack and Jill obviously share their own bathroom. Uh, all of our bedrooms for all the children we always do volume and architecturally detailed ceiling so the bedrooms actually feel really large even though they are large bedrooms in this 4300 square foot home. Uh, they do feel very large for the, for the kids so it's a great space for them. Here we have our bonus room. It's actually decorated as a learning center for the kids, computer stations, art table, things of that nature. It can also be used for their, kind of as a second family room for them to have their, their TV uh, or kind of a hangout room in. Again, with the volume ceilings, we like to put all these different things or the, or the glass doors. We like to put all these different little features into our homes. As we head towards the master, you can see to the, to the right or my left, uh, our laundry facility. This is obviously an upstairs uh, laundry area. All of our homes that we design maintain an upstairs laundry. It makes it much easier for the person doing all the laundry and clothes, uh, keeping it up where all the clothes are. As we enter through the double, double doors into the master suite, you can see that we really have gone all out to actually really create uh, for the, the two individuals that are the, the leaders in the family to really give them their own private space, wow. not just a bedroom. Uh, we have done things like all the moldings, the tray ceiling, the indirect lighting up in the, up in the ceiling, uh, and then completed it with uh, what can be used as either a sitting room or an office if, if you wanted to use it for that, as we have it set up for right now. It also has wine storage, it's a little coffee bar, so it gives you the ability on those, those early mornings, you don't have to run downstairs, you can actually sit up here uh, and actually have coffee together, which is really, really nice, kind of have a little bit of uh, me time you know, before you get going with the rest of the family. Everything that we've done here, you can see that we're really trying to give you your space uh, and decorate it as such to, to reward you for really all of your hard work. So a lot of thought goes into every home we design as we try to accomplish that for our clients. 
as we walk into the masters, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, as we walk into the master area, these these are perhaps some of the areas of the home that I'm the most proud of because, as you'll see, with the uh, with the shot, you'll see that we have very very large uh, shower systems. This is complemented by body sprays. It can be actually set up as a steam room additionally, and it even has a sound system in it. This is something that is very typical with our homes. We want that large, uh, multi-use type of type of spa feel in, in our master bathroom. We, we have our dual vanities, obviously, with our makeup counter, lots of trim work, lots of lighting, uh, which is very important, believe it or not, a lot of folks don't think about this, but doing makeup and, and all that kind of stuff for the ladies, they need a lot of lighting. We like to make sure that we have that area dedicated to this. And then this is perhaps our pride and joy of, of uh, everything within the master suite. We have our jacuzzi or soaking tub if you prefer. It's a step up type area. We have a full gas fireplace uh, there. Nice to kind of sit and relax after a long day after mom's been running around taking care of the kids. But it kind of just gives you, it's really built in its own little nook to where it really gives you the feel with the columns and the arch. You kind of feel like you're tucked away in a private little setting. So very, very nice, uh, very nice to spend time in. Into the master closet, a very spacious master closet with all the built-ins. So completely everything you, your heart could desire uh, to be able to store all of, all of your clothing needs. Welcome to our lower level. Uh, we have a full 10 foot pour here. So in this lower level, uh, it's a very spacious feeling as you can see from the high ceilings. With this finished lower level adding about 1,700-1,800 square feet to the home, you're, you're right near 6,000 total square feet uh, for this home in total living usable space. Uh, over here just behind me, we have kind of a game area set up for, you know, whether it's a poker table for dad and, and the friends, uh, and it's obviously complementing the theater area where you can do TV, movies, uh, have, the kids can have friends over, uh, dad can watch the, the sports on the weekends and have his buddies over, whatever you want to use this for, it's got a lot of functionality to it. Uh, again, carrying all the architecture throughout, you see the columns that we have here, the arched openings, all the arch detail, the woodwork, uh, to really give it that rich and warm feeling uh, in, the, in this finished lower level. As we walk over here, we really took on more of an English pub style look when we created our when we created our bar. And everything that you see here from a woodwork standpoint that we've, we've stained is actually something that we've built and finished on site. So this bar obviously gives you, whether it's, you know, when you, you kind of belly up to it, you, you feel just like, you know, when you go to that English pub style bar, you feel that rounded nose of the bar. Uh, as you walk behind here, it's very spacious. You have your microwave, dishwasher, wine cooler, refrigerator, your little bar sink everything back here to store some, some of the spirits and everything as you entertain all of your friends uh, when you have friends or family over.